This is the Information Brief. A Holyoke Media Service with the most recent updates of relevance in the city of Holyoke and the Pioneer Valley. I am Johan Rashi Vega, and this is information for Thursday, April 16th of 2020. Attorney General Mara Healy launches a new website for first responders and healthcare workers. Holyoke Public Schools has sent its weekly email update to families announcing the Scholars' Lounge and a talent show. Holyoke Gas and Electric provides an update on services available. And we have the numbers at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. This is the information. This Thursday, Attorney General Mara Healy launched a new website to provide resources for healthcare workers and first responders in Massachusetts and information to the public about how to help and thank our frontline heroes responding to the COVID-19 emergency. The website FrontlineMA.org is an initiative to centralize information for frontline workers, including personal protective equipment, prioritized testing, safe housing, meals, self-care, and emergency child care. Also, it invites the public to help by offering messages of support, buying meals for frontline workers, helping to provide a safe place for workers to stay between shifts, and ways to donate PPE. The website has specific pages catered to the everyday needs of first responders and healthcare workers, including request forms and statewide contacts to obtain PPE, details on the state's free priority testing sites, alternative housing to limit the risk of transmission, a list of free or discounted food from local restaurants, information on emergency childcare, guidance on self-isolation and quarantine. The Attorney General's Office will continue to update this website with information as it becomes available, including additional state resources, restaurant and hotel offers, and submissions to the Hero Wall. In addition to the resources on frontlinema.org, the website also includes information on assistance the Attorney General's Office can provide to first responders and healthcare workers related to healthcare, insurance coverage, consumer protection, student loans, debt collection, evictions, and utility rates and shutoffs. The website address is frontlinema.org. Holyoke Public Schools sent out this Thursday the weekly email update with most of the information provided by Superintendent Dr. Steve Schreich on his Facebook Live of Wednesday. This newsletter provides all the detailed information regarding food distribution, access to Chromebooks, free internet for families, April vacation, remote learning, MCAS, and a new initiative called the Scholars Lounge for students grades 6 to 12 to be able to socialize virtually in a relaxed environment that will be supervised by school staff. Another exciting announcement that is the Holyoke High School Performing and Visual Arts teacher, Mr. Todd, Ms. Stewart, Ms. Brunel, and Ms. Miller, along with Mr. Greeny, will be holding an online talent show. This contest is open to all Holyoke High School students and teachers. Acts can include music, dance, and theater, as well as visual arts. To enter the talent show, participants will have to join Google Classroom, record their act, and submit it to the assignment in the classroom no later than 5 p.m. on Monday, April 20th. Holyoke Gas and Electric shared with us that in order to be safe, their office is temporarily closed to foot traffic, but they will be at work and on call as always. 
Disclosure is a measure to protect the public as well as the employees so they can be safe and available to provide services in this critical time. At this time, Holyoke Gas and Electric is taking calls, answering emails, and conducting business as close to usual as possible. Services can be accessed through the website www.hged.com, where you can also pay online. If you prefer to use the phone, you can call 413-536-9300. Where you can pay over the phone, contact customer service, and contact emergency service. And regarding the Holyoke Soldiers Home, the numbers received by the state up to this Thursday afternoon are 52 veteran resident deaths, 44 positive tests, 7 negative, and 1 is unknown. 97 veteran residents have tested positive. 75 veteran residents have tested negative. Two veteran residents have pending tests. And 81 employees have tested positive. Stay in the know with Holyoke Media. We are reporting different announcements, services, and updates in the local, state, and federal level related to the COVID-19 emergency. This service is available in English and Spanish for our community in the city of Holyoke and the Pioneer Valley. This is the information we have for today. We will continue updating and following up as soon as more information becomes available. If you have questions or information to share with us as well as your concerns, you can contact us on our different outlets on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and podcast distribution platforms, and you can see this information brief on Holyoke Cable Channel 15. Remember to wash your hands. Keep a safe distance if you need to be out, and also remember to wear a facial cover or mask. This has been the information brief for April 16, 2020. I'm Johan Rashivega. You're watching Holyoke Media.